Hi everyone, welcome to week 18. In this week's episode, I'm gonna show you how to use the beat repeater effect, which is included in the Record Factory Sound Bank. Those of you using Reason can also use this effect, even if you don't have Record, because this effect does not use any devices that are specific to Record. And I'm gonna give you a link to download the patch that I'm gonna show here later on in the video. This effect is really useful for anything from taking sections of audio and looping them, or even going into extreme electronic glitched out madness territory. And it's using the knobs and the buttons on the combinator to get the effect, so all of that can be automated, which is really useful in a song when you want to do any automation and fix some of your moves. There are a few things that you do need to know in order to get the most use out of this effect and make it sound the best. So I'm gonna cover those right now. Okay, first things first. If you have no idea what a beat repeat effect sounds like, well, it sounds like this. Now there are usually two ways that I use this effect. One is on a specific device or track, let's say just the drums of a song like this. The other is on the entire mix of the song so that the entire song is affected like this. If you're using record, the beat repeater effects are located in the record sound bank in the effects beat repeater folder. There are two different patches that are in there. My personal favorite is the four stage beat repeater since it offers a lot of different repeat time divisions. For this video, I'm gonna be focusing on this patch. To connect it, just select the device where you wanna add the beat repeat effect in the rack and then select Create Effect in the Create menu. It should automatically route it just like this, but in case it doesn't, make sure the output of the device is connected to the combi inputs and the combi outputs are then connected to a channel on your mixer. To use it on the entire mix and reason, this would go in between the main mixer outs and the hardware device at the top. In record, just select the beat repeater patch as the insert effect on the master channel. You can also use this effect as an insert effect on any record audio or mix channel by selecting it in the insert effect section, which is right here. Now a little bit of info on how it works. The first knob or button combo here gives you repeat times that range from 16th to quarter notes. The second knob button combo is triplet time and goes from eighth to quarter notes as well. The third and fourth knobs and buttons are ranges that are not tempo synced and allow you to get some really fast repeat effects like this. The trick to using this effect is that you need to wait to enable it until just after the section you want to repeat has played. If you press the repeat button right on the beat, you're not going to get the desired result. But doing it just after the beat is played is just right.
If you do not have a USB control surface, you can use your mouse or trackpad to tweak the knobs and buttons. But it is much more fun and playable if you use a control surface. Using a control surface that is already supported by our remote codec and maps is the quickest way to use this. Like my Livid Ohm 64 here. If you're using a USB controller that is not supported, like my custom Bliptronic 5000 hacked into a monohm here, well then you can just use the remote override edit function to assign the knobs and buttons whichever way you want, like this. Under the options menu, select remote override edit mode. Now just double click on a knob on the combinator and turn the knob on your controller that you want to assign it to. Repeat this process for each knob and button you want to assign. Then deselect Remote Override Edit Mode and Options, and you're ready to go. Remember that your control surface should have been added first and set up as one of your keyboards and control surfaces in the Preferences menu in order for this to work. Even if you don't see it listed as a choice, you can manually add it as a manufacturer other and MIDI control keyboard as the model. To record what you're tweaking as automation, select the Beat Repeater Combinator and right click. Next, select Create Track for Combinator, and you will see a track that gets created in the sequencer for this combinator. Now all you need to do is just record automation on that track, and all your knob tweaks and button pushes will be recorded. If you're using this as an insert effect on the master section in Record or a track in Record, just click on the track or master section in the rack and follow the same process. That should cover all the bases on the beat repeater effect and enable you to get the most use and the best sounding results out of this cool effect, which was incidentally created by Kurt Kurosaki, also known as PEF, in case you were wondering who made the patch. If you don't have Record, download the patch using this link right here. Well, that's it for this week. Again, I'm James Bernard from Propellerhead Software, and I will see you all in another week with another tip.